What's up guys and welcome back to another episode 7 video. These series of videos have been stressful. I am shaking out of my boots because I'm kind of scared about these nerfs that are incoming to these heroes. If you guys haven't seen the dev notes video or if you haven't seen me talk about the heroes that I think are going to get nerfed, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely check that out. But, uh, you know, let's talk about the good news. Let's talk about Sermia that's coming out. We're going to play this little short video for you guys so you guys can see this. Uh, but Sermia is a hot-headed knight who wields fire. Uh, Sermia is fiercely competitive, but also horribly unlucky. She is very hot-headed and often gambles and loses everything. Her impulsive nature forced her parents to give all of her inheritance to her sister Carrot, who provides an allowance for her to live off of. So as you guys are looking at these abilities, her first skill penetrates the, or third skill all in, penetrates the enemy's defense. You guys saw the crazy dragon. Um, she's pretty insane. Uh... Uh, her second skill, Hot Break, uh, increases her attack. Greater attack gives her greater attack. Re resets the cooldown of skill 3 and gives her an extra turn so she can use it again. So basically with this hero, you can kill an entire Guild Wars team by yourself. Um, now ultimately we're going to have to wait and see you know, what the stats are overall. Um, but she is she's going to be pretty ridiculous uh, for single target damage. Now unfortunately she is a Leo. Okay, so get, get, start getting those blazing souls ready. Yeah, I know you guys are excited about that. Uh, fortunately, they're improving the catalyst drop rate, so that's great. So it'll be a lot easier to get blazing souls. Thank the loud. Uh, but we'll just have to see what happens there. Um, so when you look at her abilities, um, I'm not going to get too crazy. I'm hyped for her. I love her battle stance. I love what she looks like. I love what she represents. I love this hero, period. She's dope. And I can't wait to see her in a combat situation. I hope I do pull her. Uh, she has a crit chance additional effect, which is nice. Uh, I am waiting to see her stats. I want to know what her base attack is going to be, how fast she's going to be, um, how we're going to be able to position her, and we'll talk a little bit more about that when she comes out in the pre-pull video. Um, but Sermio overall, uh, I think, is going to be uh, very useful. Now, with the recovery block on one, um, you could definitely use her in gold. Uh, she fits that golem spot. Golem, I think, Guild Wars, you could potentially even use her in regular arena um, with that, uh, you know, with that um, ignore defense, uh, definitely, definitely viable. In terms of positioning, like I said, it's ultimately going to depend on her base stats overall. Um, is she going to be viable in A11? Potentially, depending on how much, what her damage output is and how the ignore defense damage is going to scale even when the boss, let's say, has his stuff up. Um, but because she's not AoE, I can't say for sure if I would potentially use her in an A11 comp. Uh, however, I I would uh, definitely throw in like a golem comp or even a wyvern comp depending on what your team lineup is. And again, depending on her damage output. Uh, but I think overall, she's pretty versatile. Uh, you have a lot lot of different options for how you can build her i think she's going to be a real prime candidate for rage uh rage set she's going to be a super prime candidate for destruction any kind of damage sets uh, you can potentially even put her on speed depending on where you want to position her in combat but i think she's just going to be a plain jane pretty much all damage uh because with her like i said with uh with if she does what her skills say she does um, like I said, by herself, she could probably take out a Guild Wars team. So if you're pairing her with, you know, stun units, um, other buffer units, any other unit, like if you want to pair her with like Watcher Shuri or like ML says and like a stunner, um, you could definitely run uh, like a ignore defense comp and just really wreck, like in max out wreck and uh, take care of like your enemy relatively easy if your gear is where it needs to be. So overall, that's the take on her. Um, her artifact that comes with her is, is going to be interesting uh, because um, the, what it does is Border Coin increases the attack on the next turn by 7.5% when using a non-attack skill, up to 15%. So if you were to put Border Coin on her, uh, basically what's going to happen is, let's say you have her skill um, you, and you position her, uh, let's say she was fast, and uh, you went ahead and used her skill 3, boom. You know, like, let's say you had a rose, you rose into her, um, and she just used her skill three, you one shot at a unit. Um, now, let's say you had auxiliary launch, you researched her, granted her another turn, she buffs, okay, uh, on her skill two, she buffs herself, gives herself greater attack. Now, if you have this artifact on her, it's going to give her also an extra 15% attack on top of the greater attack buff. And then when she gets her extra turn, she's going to be able to tr uh, trigger into her skill three. And then her skill three, you can use again and then one shot something else. Like, um, it's pretty ridiculous. I, I, to be honest, I would probably use this card on her. Uh, but the, the kicker being because this only happens on the next turn when you use it on a warrior that does a non-attack skill. You want to make sure that you pay attention to that. This is a very, very niche card but can be very very useful for the character that is coming with um 
but overall dope dope card dope hero i think this this hero overall is just a general replacement um kind of like a filler hero i think she's going to be good is she going to be crazy meta shifting i don't think so uh is, does she have good utility overall for sure um but ultimately i think if you guys want this hero you guys need a fire damage dealer uh that can help you out you know taking out you know falcon or clearies or dealing with balonas or uh pretty much anything like that that's that's win any kind of wind fire heavy team uh this definitely could be valuable against the current water everywhere meta you could run into some issues but like i said that's going to depend on what how how her damage scales because if you're able to ignore the defense to the point where she does enough damage where you can still one shot most squishy water units uh she you still could kind of cheat with this unit so anyway guys uh that's my take on this unit i'll have more information uh for pre-pool once we get an idea of her skills and stats and i'm able to see her more in combat and we'll talk about why and then uh if and when we pull her uh then i'll definitely do a post pull give you guys a demonstration of the damage that she can deal uh, so you guys can see how viable she actually is in actual team composition and build so uh, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, as always, it's your boy Damone. Let me know what you guys think about this hero. Let me know if you guys are going to be pulling for this hero. And uh, make sure you guys check out uh, the DevNote video, the uh, video where I talked about the heroes that could potentially be getting banned, um, and just the overall discussion of the patch notes this week. So again, thank you. Love you guys. Have a good one. Peace.